What's up, you guys? Happy Monday. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning back in for the start of a new week. And let's get right into it. So yeah, just jumping right into it, no sugarcoating it. I did pretty trash today, right? It was pretty awful. I was down $140 today. And yeah, that's just a lot more than I'd want to give back, right? I was down 1.4% because I was using $10,000 to trade. And I just want to get into kind of what went wrong. But right before I start that off, before I forget, I want to let you guys know that this week is a big week because companies are reporting earnings. And if you guys want to check out this website right here, Nasdaq.com, if you just look it up on Google uh, earnings calendar, this will pop up. It might be one of the top things, the top links to pop up. And yeah, so I just want you guys to be aware, like Wednesday Meta, is, um, they're reporting earnings. And they're, if you guys look at TOS, I'll show you in a sec when they're going to report it, but it's typically right around market close. So yeah, I, I just want you guys to be aware of that because they can have a big shift in the market because they are such big companies, right? They have such a large market share. So Meta is on Wednesday and Thursday is going to be Apple, Google, Amazon. So Thursday is a really really big day right i'd say it's the biggest day for the tech stocks and yeah just i want you guys to be aware of that there, there's probably going to be a big shift either for the better or worse depending on what it the outcome is obviously and yeah i'm going to show you guys that on the charts but here was the nasdaq on the day and um i want to show you guys our account because it was not pretty at all today as you guys can see we were down over 600 dollars on a day me and my brother, this is our account, and just on Tesla, we were down over 200. And I was obviously down 140, and that added to it. So, here are all the filled orders, so you guys can see. Feel free to pause it whenever you guys want. But I want to go ahead and show you guys kind of where I went wrong today. And this was when the market opened up at 6 30 in the morning. And right when the market opened up, there was a bit of chop, right? But ultimately, I saw a lot of green candles wanted to form and the market wanted to start trending above the blue EMA line here and the middle VWAP here. So I decided to really just think it was going to be a TQ day on today, uh, a TQ day for the whole day today. And I was really stubborn with that and I ended up paying the price. So I really just kept buying into TQs and getting faked out on these kind of pullbacks, thinking it might pull back only for it to keep going. And where I really got messed up today, kind of my worst trade of the day, was right around here. I fully averaged into TQs, and when I saw it broke this resistance, that's when I, I was fully averaged in, thinking that NQ wanted to start trending up, right? The market wanted a rally, and that didn't happen. It broke above barely for a second. It didn't make a higher high, but ultimately it pulled back, and I got caught in this huge red candle. So it was actually a pretty big red candle and I ended up cutting it, but I did lose around 60 to $70 on just that one trade alone. And that's kind of where I went wrong. I, I, I lost a lot of money. This was within kind of the first half an hour the market opened up. And from there, I just ended up kind of gradually losing more and more until I just called it at 140. But as far as how you could have traded it on the day, I should have been more aware of the market in terms of the bigger picture play. And although it did start pushing up, the market going into the market open, right during the pre-market here, it was downtrending. And on top of that, it was getting rejected off of this SMA line here. So it made a lower high, right? It was starting to downtrend now and kind of form this lower high pattern here. And when I saw this big rejection here, that should have been a sign that I should have looked to start getting into play for SQQQ. I kept thinking kept basically looking for a TQ's play, kept dip buying only for it to keep falling, right? I would keep dip buying because it bounced around here, but it was really just going with the overall direction on the day, and I got kind of blind to that, and that's why it's so important to look at the chart's bigger picture so you don't kind of fall victim to that. So, yeah, I was down the majority of my money on TQ's, down $90, and it was a shame because a lot of opportunity for SQ's today, right? And as far as showing you kind of how the earnings would look, like let's say Google was one of the companies, right? I showed you it was going to be reporting earnings. If you look at it on the 20-day time frame, as you guys can see right here on Thursday, it, uh, it shows you that on 3.30 p.m., but that's Central Standard Time, so it would be 1.30. 
Pacific Standard Time is when the earnings will be reported. So just be on the lookout for that. It should be pretty eventful this week. And yeah, definitely need to uh, look towards having better risk management this week. It was already off to a horrible start on the week, right? And uh, yeah, I just need to do my part in making sure I'm able to, if I am red, minimize it and really take advantage of these big opportunities. So yeah, still room to end green on the week and just need to focus on my mindset. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning back in and take care. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thank you.